Okay, so I actually have a possum. Um, I actually got it from our neighbor's yard because um, they've been trapping animals because raccoons and such have been eating, like digging in their trash and messing their flowers up. So they've been trapping animals. And actually they're old and have like back problems right now. So they didn't even know this little guy was in their yard. He looks a little nasty right now because I gave him a little bath. Um, Cause I was uh, giving him some water and he got some water all over him. But um, I was able to fill that up and give him some water through the spout right there. Um, I've been feeding him with a spoon. He's really scared of phones, so sorry you guys about that. You might not get to see everything, but I'll show you a little bit about him. I'll give him some food. He won't eat from the spoon. I have to sort of like put it in his mouth. And he should start chewing. He's scared right now. Okay guys, so I actually found him laying in this cage and ants were getting to him. At first I thought he was dead. <laughs> and um, then I sort of touched the side of him and he was moving. So I grabbed a watering can and I poured the spout into his mouth and he started drinking like so fast. And so um, that's how I, we called our neighbors, that's how we got him. Uh, I called our neighbors, we asked them if it was okay. And they said we, she'd be happy if we could take him. And so we did and we're going to put him to the lease. We're gonna bring him to the lease and he should be happy. He's big enough to survive on his own, but he's still pretty small. He doesn't eat it on his own. You have to sort of like put it in his mouth. He'll open his mouth wide so I can get it in there though. He's a messy eater. Now I'm gonna cover him up so he can have some shade. And that's how we found this possum. Okay, it's morning time, so I best go feed the animals. Let's go. <laughs> I give a scoop of dog food to Razor, and then I get a scoop of chicken food and duck food for everybody else. So that's the food we give to Razor, and this is the chicken food and duck food we give to the rest of the animals. which food he gets. He likes everything. Chickens, I usually add a scoop to their feeder to their feeder every day, even if it is already a little full, just so that they don't run out. This is what I do. Once I've finished, I make sure to lock the cages very well. If I don't, they can escape. And that's how I feed the animals every day. Thank you for watching. Bye. All right, we're gonna release this possum close to camp. They eat ticks, and our neighbors caught him in his trap. And we're over here at the deer lease. We got here late last late last night. Did a bunch of mowing, and allergies are kicking my butt. He's a young, small possum. Come on. Just grab his tail and pull. You gotta commit. Pull. There you go. Grab his tail like your full hands. 
Keep going. Get him out. There you go. Tex, no. Tex, Tex, drop. He was playing dead. He's super scared. Oh, he's so cute. See what he does whenever they're really, really scared, they're going to play dead. Can I touch him? Will he bite me or no? No, pick him up by the tail. Go ahead. He says no. <laughs> he's pretty sweet, actually. So just a young little possum that our neighbors caught and our neighbor was not able to get to the trap. So we said, you know what, we'll bring them to our, see what they do. They start drooling, drooling and foaming at the mouth and then they're going to lay down and play dead. And then they, they actually emit a really foul odor to smell like they're dead. If they run, my dog will chase. But see, my dog won't chase if I put him down gently and move slow. He might still bite. He can still bite. See, look at Blue. Look at Blue getting close to the mouth. But the possum knows it has no chance, so he's going to play dead. That's a defense mechanism. That's crazy. It actually, like... So look at that. It actually makes the animals not really want him. They think he's dead. Because they think he's dead. I thought he was dead. All right, go ahead and bring him. We'll put him in a tree. You can grab him by the back of the neck, or you can grab him... Uh, or you can grab him by the tail. Like, how? That's fine. Pick him up by the body, too. Go ahead. Pick him up. Blue. Before Tech starts biting Blue. him. Blue starts biting him. Blue, drop it. <laughs> drop that possum, bro. Oh, no, no. Pick him up. I know. There you go. There you go. Here, bring him here. I get wow. the stuff off of him. Really... Pretty chill, huh? Look at his... Uh, this is North America's only marsupial that we have, which means he's just like a kangaroo. They have a, the females have a pouch. He's so, a male. I saw his. Oh, he's a male. Okay. And then if you look at their, if you look at their uh, feet, it's just like a monkey's feet. I forget what they call that, but it has just like a monkey grip. So it's really pretty neat. They're mm -hmm. great climbers. Yeah. All right, bring him right here, baby. All right, guys, we're gonna let this possum go. See, we, do, we don't only eat animals. We also like to rescue and conserve and enjoy them. Ow! All right, come on. Okay, come over here. Let's put him. See? They look ugly. They look scary. But I promise you, they're amazing creatures. And they do great to remove ticks. You'll never see a tick on the possum. Let's see if he holds on. Oh, he sure does hold on, doesn't he? Okay, buddy. Slow it down, you're good. Oh, they can run for sure, but he he knows when he's outran. See, now, now Tex wants him because he's running. Cute little possum. They're super cute. Look at that face. When you pay attention to them and look at, into their eyes, they are adorable. Yeah, if you get to know them and not just only like kill them and say kill them and say these are ugly creatures. It's super cute. They're super cute creatures. Look at his ears. He's like, I think. I got you, buddy. We gave you life. Enjoy it. Enjoy the deer lease, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Guys, we got a lot to do. We have a lot to set up. A whole lot to set up. We still got to eat breakfast. But we'll let this guy go in peace. Maybe we'll come back and check up on him. Maybe we'll see you around one day, buddy. And hopefully you're not huge and that we're not super hungry one day because you could be on a catch and cook video. Have a nice day. Mmm. How's that? You were starving? <laughs> Let's see what the fuss is all about. Mm.
bet your bottom dollar it is. Yeah, boys. Everybody happy? Yeah. Yeah.